Well, it looks like I've reached a personal goal of 50 videos. To commemorate this, I've decided to make a 50 video special. This will basically just be an interview with me, Meta Shadow, and... Myself, Curtis. I'll be asking Meta Shadow a series of grueling and loaded questions, so let's get right to it. I'm looking right forward to this. Alright, we're going to start right into this then. First things first, how did you get into Let's Plays? In a simple response, I was encouraged by a few other LPers and wanted to try this for myself. And who encouraged you? Uh, I guess the following four people. Shag, who I first started to watch and always enjoyed his videos. Then he did a group project with Pink or Pink Kitty Rose. Kit or Kitan4. And finally, Rom Mithril. After which I started to watch Rom's videos of the Mega Man Perfect Runs as Shag was on a s some damn time. I still have yet to see other videos of Pink and Kits, but I do plan to on doing it. Alright, Meta Shadow, what the heck makes you a unique gamer anyhow? Uh, good question. Sadly, I don't bring much skill to the table. I'm not a speedrunner like Kit or a perfect runner like Rom. Pink does her own games for fun, but with her no damage runs on the Kirby Superstar, which was very impressive, uh, she seems like a very skilled gamer. And Shag is just very interesting to watch. So where does this leave me? Well, when I started these videos, I didn't want to look like a copycat or copying anyone, or stealing their gimmicks or ideas. So I tried to avoid doing games that were already done. I want to be more original, and so I got the idea to put uh, little mini clips into my videos as a way to help set the mood or scene. And it seemed to work very well in my mind, and seems to be very original. And what about your vile cheating ways? Sadly, I still plan to cheat. But I've been more selective on cheating, because I plan to use cheats that I can justify it as time savers. For example, in my current LP, the Arias Saro, I'm using an infinite cash cheat. But this is so that I don't have to go off and farm and collect money that way, because I could just do that off screen and no one know the wiser. Also, I stated in the first video that I play games as for the story and fun, not for the challenge. But watching someone play a game and have not a chance of failure is rather boring, I'm sure. So, in future games, I'll look for codes that help me complete the game but still allow me to fail in one way or another. For example, in Mash and Carnage, I had infinite lives but not infinite health. So I was still dying left and right, but I wasn't in any danger of restarting the game. What about save state abuse? Can we expect you to be guilty of that terrible crime? This is actually something I don't plan to do often. It's more of a shag gimmick, if anything else. I would do it for specific things like a well-timed jump or something that would take a lot of recovery time to reset up if I were to fail. Go. And what's been the highlight of making your videos to date? Have you been enjoying the process as much as you thought you would? Just the fact that I have videos on YouTube that can be shared and watched is the highlight enough for me. The process of making the movies isn't as tedious as you'd think. As Shag put it, it's a hobby. You've got to want to do it for yourself, if nothing else. Which is my plan. I'm not expecting much fame from this. Alright, Meta Shadow, we've reached the inevitable final question. So here's a doozy for you. What are your plans for the future, man? And what games do you plan to devote your energies to? That is quite the question. At the current moment, I'm limited to what my old laptop can play, which is currently just the Super NES and Game Boy Advance emulator. I do want to look for other emulators such as the N64 and PlayStation, but I'm not sure how well they'll run on this old decrepit machine. The other option is to get a game bridge so I can record Wii and PlayStation 2 games I own, but that might not be for a while. So my schedule, first off, I plan to finish Araya Sorrow. Sadly, I have no plans to finish Link to the Past. It was more of a test project and it was an overdone game to my understanding. Maybe if I get ideas on how I want to LP it, or if some people actually show interest in it, I'll continue that on. As for the other unfinished game, the Ang Separation Anxiety, I really want to play that one, but I have yet to find a ROM that wants to work. Most, as for games I do, I do want to do the Castlevania series, mostly the ones on the Game Boy Advance. For the most part, I also just plan on doing adventure and action style games. 
RPGs, RPGs I find take some time and patience. It would have to be one that I'd really want to get into. Good. So if that's all the questions you have, I think we can wrap this up. Yeah, I've got nothing. Thanks again, Meta Shadow. And thank you for interviewing me. Well, that's it for the 50th video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will continue to watch more videos that I hope you all enjoy as well. Until then, see ya. Wait, there's more. We kind of have some outtakes and bloopers from the 50th video recording, so I thought I'd share them with you. After that, I might have a special music video for you. Enjoy. Go. Alright then, Meta Shadow, what the heck makes you a unique gamer anyway? Uh, good question, because my music's not playing. <laughs> Alright, Meta Shadow, we've reached the inevitable final question. Here's a doozy for you. What are your plans for the future? What games do you plan to devote your energies to next? Wow, that is quite the question. At the current moment, I'm limited to what my laptop can play, which is currently just a Super NES and a Game Boy Advance emulator. I do want to look for more emulators such as the N64 and PlayStation, but I'm not sure how well those will run on this old crap it blah blah blah. Well, that's over with. Like I promised, a music video. Come on! 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 Come on!